Mmm, like chocolate. <laughs> Sorry. You just want to eat these pieces because they're so good. All right, so, um, hi, happy Tuesday. Now, I've been looking forward to doing this because I love, you know, I love talking about capsule wardrobes and I wanted to do a video today all about the pieces that last forever, every single full season. They don't date, they are trendless, they will stand the test of time in your wardrobe, all of the above. This is a celebration of those pieces and I'm gonna show you some new things and some old things that I've got, different price points as well, so you can really understand that you can truly build a full wardrobe of things that will last you forever, regardless of the type of person you are. All right, so if you love videos like that, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are into any kind of like fashion style inspiration, but it's about your own style, okay? So I don't like to talk about, this is what you have to do, this is what you have to wear, it's not about that, it's about finding your own style and looking at things and just thinking about your own wardrobe, your own aesthetic, your own lifestyle and thinking, yeah, that matches mine. And that is what I want this channel to always be about. It's about your individual style. All right, so in no particular order, I'm gonna kick off with what I am wearing. Okay, so this is a piece, this is stunning. This is by LVIR, Liver, Liver. I, it, they can't be pronounced Liver, I, I refuse to believe that. I have this two piece because it's actually a dress in two pieces. You can actually wear this part and make it into a turtleneck, full neck to ankle wool dress. It is a 100% wool ribbed dress. So the quality of this is chef's kiss, it's beautiful. And I love that you can wear it with or without this part. And I love anything like, like, like that because it makes it so much more flexible and versatile in your wardrobe. And those kind of things to me are absolute forever keepers in your wardrobe. This dress is from Farfetch. I partnered again for this video with Farfetch. I have worked with them for years now and I have shopped with them for actually longer than that before I even partnered with them. And so I wanted to show you the pieces that I picked up from them. I picked three pieces from them and to me they are pieces that will last in my wardrobe. And this was the first piece. Farfetch, I'm sure a lot of you already know, but anyone who doesn't, Farfetch, is an online website. They are basically, I've always said this, I see them as like an umbrella. They sell items from boutiques around the world. They re literally represent boutiques everywhere, all small boutiques. So if you are a lover of, of supporting small businesses, then Farfetch is absolutely 100% a place to shop at because that is who they represent and they are all over the place. I think this came from UK and another piece I have came from Italy and another place um, it came from Germany so it comes from all different places and I actually like that because I'm always checking the labels to see oh where did this come from so Farfetch represents everyone in terms of boutiques everywhere so that's how you're shopping another thing about them I like is that they also sell pre-owned things which is brilliant so pre-owned luxury pieces so if you've ever wanted to invest for example in I don't know Chanel bag or something they do sell them pre-owned and I love pre-owned my Chanel bags, which are right there, they are pre-owned, both of them. In fact, all my Chanel bags are pre-owned. I just realized that. This one, the square mini is the one behind it, the trendy. And also I have a red, oh, this one right here is stunning. This is a vintage Chanel bag. This is the kind of stuff that they sell. This is a very old school one, it's stunning, really, really nice. Pre-owned. So if you're into pre-owned luxury, they have those as well. Plus if you're a sneaker head, Brilliant for that. I got my Kelly, in fact, I'll show you right here. These, these Kelly Green sneakers, I bought these from Farfetch because I love the color of these and they have such a good selection. So I caved and they still have a lot more actually I'm interested in, but anyway, that's another story. But so anyway, so that's the whole point of Farfetch and I love them for that. I do have a 10% off code for you. I'll leave it on the screen here. It is Karen YT10. Karen, probably YouTube, but probably stands for. So Karen YT10 on the screen. I'll leave it in the description box as well for you and the links to everything that I'm wearing. All the terms and conditions are also in the description box. And I also have my curated feed of things that I personally like 
on Farfetch. I'll leave a little sample of it here for you. You can see scrolling. Check out the full list in the description box below. So these are the pieces I picked out. So this is one of them. I'll show in the cutaways how it looks. It's absolutely stunning on. Have a look at this. You can see how it looks in the cutaway without the upper part attached to it. It's just like a sleeveless classic dress all wool like i said it's all 100 percent wool looks amazing which was dressed down with sandals or you can make it more casual with sneakers or with boots i'll also show you that as well in the cutaways and then showing you how i layered it on top with the piece the matching piece that comes with it to me this is absolutely stunning i absolutely love how this looks together this is a classic timeless shape and silhouette that is going to stand the test of time and this is Possibly now, not even possibly, this is 100% the warmest quality dress I own officially in my wardrobe. I have never found anything that is as warm as this, the amazing. And I love the fact, like I said, that it is a two piece so you can separate it out and I could wear that top as a cropped piece and wear it with high waisted trousers. I could easily see me doing that. Um, and also I could wear the dress all alone and just add a blazer on top if I want to wear something a little bit slimmer so I don't have the matching piece that it comes with. But either way you rock it, it's up to you. I think this is such a timeless piece to wear with tall boots that disappear under the dress. I love the length of the dress as well. I think it's a perfect length because it's just that whole column of wool on your legs and it keeps you super warm this is an absolute fantastic investment piece and i am so happy that i got it another piece i got from farfetch is this stunning skirt it is by alice mccall it is a midi length and i actually just wore it with the same lvir that's how i'm going to go with that top member from the dress this is exactly how i'm going to wear these things so i wore the skirt with the top it is a, by the way, it goes all the way up. So if you want to, I've just got my makeup on, so I'm not going to, so I just wore it rolled down. But this skirt is absolutely stunning. The detail on it, I'll show you here, is gorgeous. It can go high-waisted as well. Nice thick wide waistband um, that is elasticated so you can pull it down as much as you want, but you can also pull it up as much as you want. So it's, I first saw this on Monroe Steel. Monroe, hey girl. We bumped into each other on Spring Street, I think it was. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so glad that I did. It's great. It is exactly what I was looking for, for something that will stand the test of time in my wardrobe, that is not busy with a ton of patterns, a ton of different prints all over it. It's just pattern on pattern, but it's a very sort of classic design as well, if you can see. All here, it's, it's beautiful, and it goes on the back as well, look. It's just fantastic. I'll show you in the cutaways again how this looks, but I just thought it, this is exactly why I got it because I know the cut of it again and the silhouette of it is going to stand the test of time. I'm five foot seven for reference and I love where it stops also on my leg. It's nice and long. So again, any kind of ankle boots, I wear ankle boots all the time and knee high boots chic together. I really made sure to choose pieces that will really add to my wardrobe and will stay in it for the fall after fall after fall. Last piece I got from Farfetch is this wool dress, all black. I've been looking for a dress like this for a long time, a quality one. I used to have one that I got it from a vintage shop years ago and I cannot for the life of me find it. So I had to try and find a replacement of it and this is it. It is by Tom Crom. And it is exactly what I was looking for. Long sleeved, really skinny, long sleeves. That's how long the sleeves are. I love that about it. So you can just cover your hands as much as you want, especially as it gets cooler. Again, it's a really long midi slash maxi cut, which is what I wanted. I just want a nice column of wool. And this is 100% wool as well. This is exactly the kind of pieces I'm looking for that's gonna stand the test of time also i thought the budget on it as well i think it was at 166 which is a pretty good price for the quality you're getting if anyone gets this please tag me and let me know on instagram or in a future video you need to know how this i wish there was feel vision it feels so nice it's like the first dress they feel the quality is just different and i can see why more and more people are looking to invest in quality 
over quantity to try and pick really good pieces that will stand and last in your wardrobe, especially in terms of functionality. Nice tight high neck. I'll show you the cutaways exactly how it looks on me. I styled it with different boots. I styled it with my black tall lace up boots um, from Zara that I've had for like three years now. I styled it with um, a pair of brown knee high boots, cognac, because I think that kind of caramel toffee brown is gonna look perfect with this dress as well. Good classic chic, color combinations. I also styled it just with a pair of white sneakers, just trainers. That also looks really nice. It's just nice just to run around town, the city, errands, and you're wearing this nice column of warmth in this chic dress, nice high polo neck, and you just bum a pair of trainers with it. I just love something like that. And also because it's black, it's a great base for all your other pieces in your wardrobe that have color. Like my Kelly Green Jordans, I could easily wear those with this as well because this is all black. So it's a good jumping point to wear anything you want. And I thought this, I already know this is gonna be in my wardrobe for a very, very long time. So I'm really glad that I got it. So I'm gonna leave the code for you again, 10% off on Farfetch. The code is on the screen, it's KarenYT10. I'll leave all the terms and conditions as always in the description box and links to everything that I got as well as some of my favorites as well. All right, so other favorites in my wardrobe. I cannot not put trench coats in this video. These are just two of the ones that I love. I don't even know which one to start with first. These are both actually pre-loved trench coats. You know, I'm a fan of that. I got this, I'm gonna start with a hero piece. A lot of you, if you are OG subscribers, let me know in the comments below because you already know about this particular men's trench coat and how much I love it. I have been a lover of menswear for, I think it's actually before I even moved to New York. Because some of you think I'm in living England, which is funny because I've always said how I am in New York and America. And if you see on my Instagram as well, you'll notice that that's where I live. But anyway, yeah, I do live in America, even though I have a, you know, I'm from England. I'm just like, I'm classic sting. I'm that Englishman in New York. But this is one of my favorite finds. <laughs> this trench coat, and trenches aren't gonna go anywhere. They never do. All you see is just different iterations. What's that? Oh, it's a mask. The sleeves, the way they do that. The back vent, the shoulders, the way the shoulders are really like sharp. I love, just, it's just the details of this trench are just so magnificent. Oh, and it's got a warm lining that you can detach. There's actually a zip that goes, I just noticed. I have never taken it off, but there's actually a zip here and it's right there. And you can actually unzip this all the way, this blue part here, and it's completely comes off. See, both sides, it's just so good, right? It's just great. So anyway, trench coat is not going anywhere. Um, that was the point of this. This is a Christian Dior trench coat that I found. I was very, very fortunate to find it in a thrift shop. And I remember I took you guys with me the moment that I found it, it's actually on my Instagram, on my on my IGTV. I think I saved it as well. So if you want to check out the moment that I found it, and I went live, I remember when I was in the shop. Sometimes I do that. Follow me on Instagram so you can catch the next one I do, but I'll just go live randomly in a shop and I will have you lot with me to help me decide if I should buy something, I'll try it on with you, because I shop by myself, so it's nice to just have you with me sometimes when I'm in a shop, so just, you know, on Instagram, follow me, because I haven't done one in a little while, and I want to do one again very, very soon. So I went live with you, and you helped me with this trench coat. I mean, I already was going to take it. It was just too good not to take, sorry. You know, it just, so, oh, it's amazing. But they do have more of these. I will list wherever I have seen them in the description. Also, this one as well. A lot of you see this. I've had this for ages now. Vintage leather orange. You don't have to obviously go for a bright coat. Like, wow, it's been ages. You know what? I would never wear these two together because this reminds me of Halloween. Um, I'm just one of those that just, I don't like to do like this kind of combos because I just think of that. I think I look like a massive Reese's buttercup. But this is one of my favorite statement trench coats. And the fact that it's leather as well, that's so unusual in a trench. And I get countless comments, like compliments whenever I wear this on the street. Because who's walking around wearing a leather trench in this bright tangerine color? And the details on it, which probably aren't coming across on the screen, but it has really nice details. So if you saw me on the street wearing it, you'd be able to see all of this detail. And if I was walking, you'd see the flash of this lining as I'm walking. It's just 
it's just so nice it really is and so it's such a good buy so trench coats for sure absolute 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 forever pieces another good forever piece is a good wide leg trouser especially in a wool tweedy type of fabric i've had this one for ages i really have and it is so good it's from zara and it's just again it's sort of test of time i bought this about four years ago no lie and it still looks as good today as it does the day i got it by the way this is that same tom crom dress but i could see you just making this into like a top and just tuck it into like a like if you're wearing a, like a maxi skirt like a leather a black leather skirt do i have one if i don't i need to get one this you put this like this <laughs> The dress like this and put the skirt over it that's gonna look so nice you instantly got the additional warmth of having like, your legs covered underneath the skirt and then it just looks like you're wearing like a black polo neck with a black black leather skirt that's gonna look so good anyway the point is this is such sorry I'm getting dressed in front of you and undressed it doesn't matter this looks so good as that i can just see it happening and i will actually do something like that because i think it's going to look so good together yeah i'm definitely going to wear i'm definitely going to wear this dress like that for sure yeah so a good wide leg pants this again i'm going to show you in the cutaways now it's not going anywhere the length of this is perfect i love the fact that it's wide leg i love wide leg trousers anyway that is my vibe and i know for my wardrobe this is a piece that is a true investment. I love the fact that it's high waist as well, so it just covers any lumps and bumps. And it just looks so chic, and it looks, the color, the charcoal gray is perfect. And that just herringbone tweed pattern is just timeless on it. And I'm going to now show you, honestly, this is hilarious. This blazer, this wool blazer, I got this from Farfetch. I think it's been a year ago. The sponsor part is over, by the way. I'm just showing you my own stuff that I have in my wardrobe but this <laughs> this is from Farfetch and I got it for the reasons then that I have it now which is I wanted something that was wool grey um, timeless I could wear during the fall and I just thought that this could kind of look like a suit together they are tell a lie they are off color they're not exactly the same but it's the same color family and that's good enough for me this video has gone from like telling you about things to that's like you know forever's in your wardrobe to just doing like a play let's play in karen's wardrobe session instead timeless pieces is what i'm sure oh my gosh is what i'm showing you here look oh my god <laughs> good this really looks good I love oh gosh this looks so chic doesn't it look at that together oh I'll show you in the cutaways now so you can see full length how this looks but this to me is just absolute timeless dressing forever pieces girls and guys I'm telling you these are the things that you invest in they become the pillars of your full wardrobe and they will not date oh also another good piece that's going to stand the test of time outside of just like obviously a good blazer i'm not going to talk too much about them because i i think almost on every video i've noticed i've been talking about blazers and i don't need to anymore it's like a given on my channel how much i love them but i have to put them in because it's it would be weird not to mention them but a good blazer obviously is a is a given for me as far as like a full wardrobe staple. I'm gonna link below throughout this whole video to all different, like just similar to what I have and just anything that I've seen that I think are really, really good pieces that are worth investing in. Not necessarily in terms of budget, but it could just be the style of it alone. It just could be something that I think, I personally think looks good. But remember, although I've always thought that my opinions and everyone's is, is very subjective. So these are just my suggestions. But again, tweak it to what your lifestyle is and what your wardrobe colors are and palette, even your skin tone. Think about that as well. I love greys on me, um, certain shades, not too light, but if it's like this, it's dark enough where I love the contrast, but it still, to me, complements my skin tone. It's not as um, harsh as black is, as I mentioned before in, I think it was last week's video. But another um, forever piece is a good belt. Now, I feel like belts are um, an accessory that 
sometimes get often overlooked in videos when they talk about full forever pieces, but a good belt like this one will last you forever. This, I will never get rid of this belt. I found this in a vintage shop years ago. And the reason why I like this particular belt over all the belts I own is because it's adjustable. It doesn't matter where you put the loop and how big or small you get over time, it will always work because it's got these loops that go all the way around it. So I'm wearing it back to front, but they go all the way around it. So you can hook that anywhere you want whether you want it to fit like a uh, high-waisted or you want it to fit like on your hips. Here's the front of it right here. But this can go anywhere along the belt loop. There is none, but you know what I mean? It could just go anywhere. So it's up to you. You could go really loose. You could go really tight like this. I love snatching a good, I love a good waist snatcher. That is what I like about this particular belt. So if I see other belts that look like this, I have a brown version as well, because I love this one so much. I got a brown version. And these to me are an absolute staple in a full wardrobe. Get yourself one of these and you are gonna thank me later. You will never not reach for this belt. And that can be in the summertime as well. Because it's quite thin, it's going to work great over your dresses as well. It's uh, wide enough that it makes an impact, but it's also small enough that it can go through a belt loop as well. So it's extremely versatile, this particular kind of belt. See what I'm saying right there? In the description box, um, check it out after watching this video. I can show you what I came up with online that looks like this. Belt, obviously the blazer, and a good, good wide leg pants okay so i just literally i did red lips because i just thought hang on i should actually my hair snatched back i got this suit on i think a red lip would look really good <laughs> so i just added it i'll i'll link it it's nars it's actually a pencil another absolute forever piece is for fall skirts you already saw the skirt that i recently got the long wall lilac one but this to me this suede skirt it's the category a suede skirt, a good midi suede skirt, and also a really good leather, a good leather skirt. Now, I don't have one. I used to have one. Again, I don't know where the bloody thing is. I had one in black and I had one in burgundy. Uh, for the life of me, I don't know where they are. So these, I can already see if I cannot, because I've literally looked for these things for like about a year or more and I can't find them. So I don't know what's happened to them, but I'm going to have to invest in getting that this season. Get yourself a good, if you can, suede midi skirt, because this is not gonna date, or a leather midi skirt. And I say midi because they look so complimentary with boots and say, like I said, trainers. I love that kind of vibe, you know I do. If you, you already know. But better than the mini skirt for obvious reasons, because it's the fall season. This one is a chocolate brown one that I've had for quite a few years now. I got this from a vintage shop. It's actually um, got a split, where is it? There's a split somewhere on it, it's so cool. Right here, it has a split opening on the side. It has a self belt with a buckle and it has uh, flap covered pockets on either side. It is a beautiful chocolate brown. It's a little bit on the short, I wish it was actually a bit longer. The hem is not very long, but apart from that, I love it. So what I do is I wear it obviously and then I just turn around and wear like a tall enough boot where the shaft disappears, you know me, it disappears underneath the skirt and it looks so good together. So anyway, the, oh God, look, speaking of so good together, look, like this. Oh my gosh, look, see, class is in session, the combo for me. That is what I would wear together 100% with these boots. These are great, these Zara boots. I've had them since last year and I love them to pieces. This is such a great investment piece. You can find this at different price points. You can find everything in different price points, so that's not really the point. The point is the category that I'm suggesting to you to form your pillars, like I said, in your full capsule wardrobe. A good black midi skirt would look absolutely outstanding. I actually will, that's gonna be one of my next things to find personally, Karen. And it is literally sticking with leathers. I have these two pants. Both of them I got from a vintage shop as well. That's so funny, but I did. I love this kind of stuff. I just get lucky. That's why I go to these places, because you get lucky. I have this one, which you guys have seen me wear quite a bit already. It is slight, like a, 
it's not a paper bag waist but it's a little bit baggy it has like the two buttons on the side here the two fastenings right here on the side it's so cool and then you just like that it looks so good so so good this is how it looks on i'm not gonna put it on my trial session is over but this i just wanted to show you this looks amazing this has stood the test of time it's a little bit too big for me but i don't really care i love that notch see that v right there i think that's really sweet that they came up with that it's just a piece that looks so good this i would highly recommend for anyone if i had a client and they were like asking me like what would you recommend like to invest in for the fall that will last me forever in my wardrobe this is your video i'm recommending those things for you right now same here with this this is a gorgeous burgundy pant that i found again pre-loved love the color of it fits like a glove it's a tighter fit straight cut a little bit on the crop side and because it's cropped i make it work with a tall ankle boot like for example these i'll show you right here these look really good with it something like these Pradas look really really good with it because it's got a little bit of height but i would also recommend something with even more height like my dr martins these also look really good with it as well because it's got a little bit of a, a taller shaft here and that part covers your ankles where the leg stops on the pan so it really is a great thing to get um they stand again the test of time i'm sorry to sound like a broken record but they do these kind of leathers look so fantastic with any of your knits as well that contrast in textures you've got the you know got the knits the the weight of that and you contrast that with the the leather the shine and the texture difference these are what makes a, a wardrobe so yummy mm, like chocolate <laughs> Sorry, you just want to eat these pieces because they're so good. The fantastic Fair Isle, I think they're called Fair Isle, the design. Or Fisherman, Fisherman jumpers. In my wardrobe, these are forevers. I love them. Always have and I always will. There you go. I get mine thrifted um, because in New York, you can find good thrift shops all over the place. If you're wondering where, I'll link below to a playlist of some of my favorites that I go to. But they're so good and they're so timeless and they work every single year. They never, ever date, ever. They never date and they look fantastic. And there's so many different price points of them as well. But I'm just showing you the type of jumper that I'm talking about. And the design goes around the back as well. But this looks so good, with like creams and just, oh God, hold on. Just like any kind of like brown colors as well. Remember this that I got, this blazer, and then look, you got like this color because of the creams, and then look, wait, wait, the same boot, bam. See that kind of like caramelly kind of, oh, those neutrals, they look so good together, but these are investments in that they will stay with you for a very long time. Oh God, I think the charcoal gray is my absolute favorite one. It's stunning. It's almost like the color of this blazer, but it's this jumper. And I found that from a vintage shop but um, I find these all the time online as well randomly I'm looking on stuff so I'll link below to some of my favorites another great essential that will stand you the test of time in your full wardrobe it's just a good cardigan I love a good cardi growing up in England that is like our uniform any Brits out there watching this video leave an emoji of a flag or just tell me you're from England just so I can see how many of you are out there looking at this video now we grow up in cardigans that's our thing it really is and i brought that over here too i love wearing them and this one from and other stories is a really good priced one i got this i think this was last year or was it the year before it's in a really nice kind of car like just a caramel kind of color it's coming out a little bit brighter than it is in real life it's a little bit darker and it's gorgeous it's such a nice color um it's got a slight sort of full sleeve to it as well which i really like simple like it's cropped slightly as well just enough so you don't have the bulk when you're wearing like a pant or a skirt with it and i got this in navy as well so this is another piece you'll have forever it's like a lightweight jacket when it's really kind of cool you can wear it open as a opened jacket as well obviously with a t-shirt it's just such a good layering piece invest in a good one that's not going to be you know destroyed in the wash or is not going to pill too much and if it does start pilling you already know about the depiller that I recommended to you in my last video. But 
these are the kind of things that I think are really fantastic to have. A good cardigan will last you. It can be black, so wear these things reversed. I love wearing cardigans reversed, so it has like a high neck, neck effect. It's plain at the front, and it has that V at the back. And then you can get like a larger size, I'm sorry, you can get a larger size, longer cardigan, and then you can belt it with this belt, <laughs> with this kind of belt. See? And my last forever fall piece, at least for me in my wardrobe and my lifestyle, which is very casual, is going to be a good trainer. I'm not talking about a personal trainer. I'm talking about these kind of trainers, just a good sneaker. I personally find I gravitate in the fall to the white ones more because I just think, again, they just tend to go with everything. They come in every price point, And I think because because the lifestyle now, especially after last year, has become, but even without that, it's become increasingly more casual. The fact that I'm wearing, right, this wide leg suit, so pseudo suit that I created, I would easily just bum these with it because it just instantly, just put like a pair of dark glasses. Hold on, let's do, let's just do the look. It's just such a cool vibe. So you got like these and then these. I'm not gonna put these on because I can't be bothered. Look, look, you could just, look, you can see it now. Tell me you can see, see that. That whole, oh, it looks so good. The whole look together. Black, black, and white to me are neutrals. I've said this so many times on my channel, but they are, so I'd pick a good sneaker. My high hikes, I've talked about these so much. They're the most comfortable things I've ever worn in terms of a Converse. If you've not tried these, please try them. Come back and thank me, because a lot of you actually do, because you love them as much as I do. They have a hidden platform in them and they look so flipping badass on your feet. I love these. But all different price points. Like I said before, Alexander McQueen. Here's another version I got um, that's just a white sneaker. The reason why I picked up this particular color combination with the holographic back is because I wanted it again to just be plain white. Put any of these on my feet right now and it would look, look so cool. Like I've just made this suit very like casual and I love that to me that is and that's unexpected I think in this video but I think it's also a full um, wardrobe staple at least in my wardrobe they are and again any price point instantly looks good with like dresses as well like the knit dresses knit midi skirts just bum on a pair of sneakers and you've instantly made it look way more like casual but chic at the same time it doesn't have to be white it could be um, a colored a mixed multicolored sneaker especially the retro type ones i think those also look really timeless keyword timeless things that will last you that is what this video is about i could have gone into the boot category on this video but i deliberately have not because i actually want to do a video on boots only give this video a thumbs up if you definitely want me to do one because i'm thinking about doing like a full boot collection like all the boots that i own in one video and just go through them all so you can see because i think i can definitely do an updated boot collection so thumbs up so i get an indication if you want that or just comment below um, but that is it those are my top top pillars of the fall in a closet these are the pieces that will stand you the test of time i've had these pants for so long and that wide leg on them is so cool it's gonna stand like this like a flamingo that wide leg on them is just so bad look at that it's cuffed as well god it's so good so these are my favorite things do not forget my farfetch code karen yt10 it's on the screen I'll leave it in the description box with links to what I got, but you can pick anything out for 10% off on Farfetch. The TNCs are in the description box as well. Pick something that's a forever, whether it's something that I own or, and got, or just look through and pick something that you think, you know what? That's something I could keep in my wardrobe for a long time and get a good use out of. So tag me on Instagram if you use that code and get anything. I'd love to see what you do. That is it, my loves. Um, I don't think there's anything else as usual I want to say. I will see you on Friday. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't already. On TikTok, I try and post 
daily outfit videos, like how to's on how to style this, how to style ankle boots, how to style the colors, how to style gray, how to style black, how to style midi skirts, how to, how to style. I do try like quick TikToks on there videos for you so you can follow me on there as well as on my instagram same name everywhere karen britchick i make it very easy for you subscribe to this channel obviously for more videos like this i'm done i'll see you take care my loves all right have a good week take care Bye.